And that's why this has resulted in the Knicks having the worst net rating for crunch time situations in the whole league. And Evan Fonier, man, he contributes to that a lot. He's one of the worst players to have on the floor in crunch time situations, offensively and defensively. But Evan Fonier this season, man, you can't tell what the fuck he is this season. I mean, Evan is on the verge of just breaking John Stark's record for threes made by a Nick in a single season, which I believe John Starks has 217. So Evan has a chance to break that. And we still have about more than like 10 games to go. And believe it or not, Evan is actually seventh in the league in threes made. And <laughs> once again, this is why I'm saying Leon Rose has a conundrum on his hands, man. He got to be patient to find this, you know, point guard to at least facilitate the offense. Because believe it or not, man, if we could find someone to give Evan the ball in key spots, Evan could really turn out to be a really good piece for us, especially in getting the floor spaced out. Now, that sounds crazy, but that's just what it is. I mean, seventh in the league in threes made, you can't really fake that. And that's with no point guard. Once again, once we get someone to facilitate the offense, these guys can play a lot better. And that's no shot to Kimba Walker. Kimba just due to his knees, he can't really get to the you know hoop like that and create for other guys. He's turned into a really good spot up shooter, but on a consistent basis, those knees are not gonna really allow him to do what we want out of a point guard. He's doing something that Evan is already doing, which is spot up, you know, threes. But we need someone to facilitate that offense. And just going back to Evan, here's another conundrum Leon Rose has with Evan Fonier. Is that that New York pressure boy, that shit has you acting desperate real quick. Because apparently at the trade deadline, Evan was being shopped around a lot. He was even being shopped around for Karis LeVert in Indiana, which I was shocked about. Because Karis can't really shoot. But he's a really good defensive player. That's if he's healthy. Evan is a lot healthier than uh, Karis LeVert. So I was surprised Leon Rose was trying to get that off. And also, CJ McCollum. The Knicks were trying to give away Evan in a first-round pick to try to get CJ. And I guess the Pelicans were not trying to bite on that. But Evan, man, it seemed like, you know, he really was shopping him around. I'm surprised because... He does kind of bring the Knicks to that relevance of having a good three-point shooter and space in the floor. But the only issue, once again, is that we don't have a point guard to facilitate this whole shit. So once again, with Leon Rose, we'll see how patient he gets because there's no big-time point guards that's going to hit free agency. You know, he's got to wait for opportunity for a player to get disgruntled or dig deep in that draft, boy, and try to find somebody. Because the new name of the game in NBA free agency is to re-sign with your squad and then make a fuss because you can still get your way and force your way out. So guys actually becoming free agents is going to be very scarce because now they can just basically bitch and still get their money.